most of the fan controller's engines accepted diesels. James had never liked them. They're all right, said Henry, just mixed traffic engines like you and me. Mixed up engines, you mean, James grunted, with windows at each end. How can they know they're coming or going? Toby has two cabs, remarked Duck, and he gets on all right. Toby's just a little engine, scoffed James. If an important engine like me didn't know which way to turn, what would the railway come to? All the engines agreed that James was becoming much too puffed up in his smoke box. Making out his royalty or something, rumbled Henry. It's disgusting. I knew an engine called King James, remarked Duck, in the old days at Paddington. King James the first, he was. But he didn't swank about like that. Och, then I be telling James that, pleaded Donald. It's even mere of a misery he'll be making our lives. Exactly, agreed Henry. But who's going to trim his wheels for him? The engines tried all sorts of ideas, but nothing worked. James grew so conceited that the others were glad when he was away. Even the coaches twittered anxiously to each other if they thought he was to pull them. One day, James came to the shed, fuming with rage. Shunting, he snorted. Where are Donald and Douglas? They should be here for jobs like that. But the twins were helping on Edward's branch line so James had to do the work himself. James's train had long trucks called well wagons. These have bogey wheels at each end with a low section between them. They're used to carry cars, tractors and other heavy machinery. The shunting should have been easy, but James was cross and bumped the trucks. Oh, 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 they cried. Some of them slipped their brakes on to spite James. The weather was damp and misty too, so the shunting took a long time. At last, James had only two trucks to fetch before his train was ready. Because of the mist, the signalman sometimes found it hard to see what was happening. James's driver told him that James would whistle when they had collected all the trucks and were clear of the points. They had almost finished when suddenly James heard a sharp peep peep from another engine close by. The signalman heard it too and thought it was James saying he was ready. He pulled the lever, setting the points for the main line. But James wasn't ready. The points changed when one of the trucks was halfway over them. One bogey went the right way, but the other was diverted towards the main line. Before James realized it, the truck was traveling sideways between the two lines. A signal stood right in its path. Stop! squealed the truck, but it was too late. The signal toppled to the ground with a crash, just missing James. That's torn it, said James's driver. The fat controller won't like that. He didn't. He spoke severely about it because the signal was important and its loss was inconvenient. James knew that the accident was not his fault, but he was unusually quiet in the shed that evening. The others were relieved. I suppose it must be difficult to know which way to go when you've got two cabs, whispered a voice, but to go two ways at once with only one cab. That really is something. James pretended he hadn't heard.